this is going to be the British pound against the dollar. This is the one hour chart. And I wanted to show what I think is the way to draw a trend line because there's very few options. It's not um, what they say subjective. It's just a hard, hard rule. So you're going to find a mountain top, and then you're going to find the next mountain top that is in front of the uh, other mountain top. And this is uh, as soon as you get this market to not break this trend line of the upside, you know you're in a downtrend. And if you get that skewed up on that, you see that that uh, if you're chopping out the wicks because they don't matter. Not to the trend. There is a steeper trend in there, which is going to be this line. There's a triple top here. I don't know if you can see it, but actually it's kind of a double top. It's a triple to here, and it breaks. But I'm actually looking for the scalp entry to be, we got to break this. So we're not looking to break... I know a lot of people have this idea of it. We've all seen the trend line like this. They're looking to break that. But we break, we close above it, we pull back into that window. And then it goes sideways. There is, it's a dead cat bounce. There is no movement there. But I, would ha I wouldn't trade this just from a trend line standpoint. And I don't want to be selling. It's saying, well, we're in a downtrend. It's going to keep tanking because... Eventually, it recovers. So, if you broke a break of this trend, if you got in before the break of that trend line, realizing, hopefully, realizing that you, um, when you see a, a double bottom, and so who didn't draw a double bottom here? Double bottom, right? We should be going up. We're going to come to here as the target, logically, right? If this is going to be. But it's a dead cat bounce. No offense to kitty cats, but it goes into a triangle. It's supposed to break out. It doesn't. We fall in a hole. This is where the last guy's uh, protection is, and that's what they want. They want that last. So this is the auction trade where you go below unfair value come back to fair value it doesn't break out and go unfair into unfair fair unfair fair fair where they've got um these currencies will move in which it, you just can't believe it it's still going down yeah 20 hours down you know never a higher closing price never a bullish candle for 20 hours yes it happens so but it's it's un, it's unbelievable but now if your buy stops are above that, you don't get filled on that drama. That's the passive entry. The aggressive entry is to stand in front of it like a freight train saying, fuck you, and just keep buying on limits, knowing we're going to retrace at some point. But that's the horizontal view. This trend line stuff that people want to do is, is a momentum view. So if you, if you do the next known uh, uh, resistance... A lot of people sold here because they said, you know what? This angle, this is, of course, the moving averages have synced up by now for people, but nah, it's really not about that. That's not what caused this trade. I know people want to always say that. Every video you'll see, well, not everyone, but everyone I've seen, they say, oh, well, reason is because everybody's using the Ikimushu cloud. No, it's because this trap... For the bulls going, hey, 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 we're coming back to this, Fat Albert. Uh-uh. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have herpes? I'm out of here. Then we're going to trap these guys. Oh, my God. And this is the day. This is a, this is one day. This is the hourly chart. These are stupid setups. On the daily, this looks like a 20-pip neck. Here is your hammer. That's a hammer. Here's a here's a hammer. You don't look, have to look at the four-hour chart to know that's a hammer. Baby hammers, doji. Triangle equals doji. Hammer. Oh, 
trap these guys up, oh, trap these guys up. Oh, what in the hell's going on? And then we come back to this doji eventually. For another another spectacular 10-pip window. Duh. I'm pulling back down to this doji at the round. Duh. It's so stupid. What the thing is, is that you, you just have to place your buy limits here, starting with a grid down to here. And maybe you don't fill the whole thing, but look at that entry. Are you serious? And sure, there's, the sure people were selling here, but maybe just to retest of this, it's great that this line lines up. But if this is actually the dead cat bounce that replunges, sure, momentum is going to sync up, and this is why a stop clocks right eventually. But really, it comes down to this. These mountaintops are getting sluggish. Time to put on. This is the Asian session. Time to drop the uh, doji bot. Asian session doji bot comes in. They trap the doji bot. If he's got a wide enough stop, he makes money to the end of European session. And then, hey, you know what? Limits, if you were along this thing from the, um, say you went uh, short or long on this. So you drop the doji bot. In fact, the doji bot starts to, uh, I say it like it exists, but you have to be your own doji bot. You're placing buy stops here. And they trap you a little bit. You're placing sell stops in here. Total fill. Amazing. In here, you're really loading up. You just keep hitting that button. This is about an eight hour setup into this triangle. I'm sure on the five minute, on the 15, it's a triangle. And so here's the beak, and it kicks out down. You're making money on this thing. But you also got your first buy limit starting here. Your next one starts here if it's hand placed for this kick up. So you're definitely in all the time on something. I think it's good to be on something a little bit all the time or just about to get into something. Here you go into Asia, quiet. They kick you out, you scalped, and maybe then stop you out. Guaranteed, it got crazy after that, but you've already got your limits sitting out here. And that's when you're going to get in on maybe this, or this spills out. Look at the spill out on this. Tell me a doji bot did not clean up non-directional trading everybody's got a trend line we're going up we're gonna hold we're going up we're gonna break out this top nope this bottom becomes a double top volatility gets tiny oh you're just hitting that and so if you don't want to decide whether you're a boy or a girl you can just sit there and hit the complete girl trigger and say, I don't know, honey, where it's going. But I know when it leaves, I want to be on that train because you're a little, you don't make enough money. So, you know, it's a classic story, the cliche. And if, if, if you're trailing money management, stupid ass buy, you know, reversal, he kind of gets a little trapped here if he's religiously placing his protection at the highs of this. Does it get any dumber than this, people? <laughs> you don't need this, Garley. You don't need it. Now, you can make the Garley argument here that we're coming back into this. Look how it's perfectly coming to the rollover. Okay, yes, indeed. But we could spill down a little bit. In fact, this is telling you Maybe you should project down a little lower. We're going to trickle down into the uh, bottom of this hole. And don't forget the Brexit. The Brexit. God, it's about time these people got... Their currency has been so overpriced for so long. Come on. 
So look at this damn thing. Get a load of this. That's what they used to say when I was a kid. Get a load of this. Hey, Hank, come here. Get a load of this. Listen to this guy. He thinks he knows what he's doing. Get a load of this. This is insane, this currency. Did it retest here? <sighs> wow. So, we're trapped in a zone on everything's trapped in a zone. Everything's sideways. 80% sideways, 20% drama. So this is like a typical relationship here on the daily. Who's not been in this one? Um, first date. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Then she gets pregnant. Her parents find out. Oh, boy. There goes the relationship. Now, you're in the doghouse for... Well, you just... You sworn off all relationships. And you're like, you know, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm just going to go to a local bar, get drunk, walk home. Go to a local bar, get drunk, walk home. Then, oh boy, turns out she wants child support. So we could see that coming next. Or she's like, oh man, I love you. Can we get remarried? Well, if that happens, isn't everybody going to get out here? <laughs> but look at this thing. Oof. Baby took it hard, but we could be we we could be up for another another Brexit. Stuff's gonna come unwrapped here now. I think volatility could kick up on this pair. Anyways, that's my British pound view. And always the always up for the uh if they bring it down here, I don't even know where we're at. Like where are we at on this thing, right? We've been here before? I don't know. This chart, my data don't go back as far as we, we're going in uncharted water, but let's take this puppy down. Talk about power. Look at this. Look at this weekly chart. Look at this flag. So if you're if you're bracketing that, yeah, maybe. I'm not a big breakout trader, but we could be in trouble here. Uh, we're we're 200 pips from testing this, and from what I've seen, the way this thing tanks man when it tanks it tanks like look at this thing this was supposed to be support and man when it came back here did people get out and go the other way oh you're not kidding look at that did people not say to themselves what was that i just witnessed so you bought here it blew through when it came back here you're like oh i'm out then people bought down here and uh, you know, or they, they bought here. And so they were happy to see this price, right? After they'd taken a ride. Don't forget the people that bought here wrote it all the way, all the way down to here and then some. Then they wrote it back to here and then the, that's why the double top is so, um, a lot of people said, well, well, I'm getting out here. I'll buy in pullbacks here. No follow through. And uh, kablamo. It reminds me of a, a musical chairs where the, the chairs are intermittently showing up and they trapped them there and now what in the hell is going on are we talking about 125 I don't know it, it definitely range bound but oh man here's the obvious trade by every hundred pips down till your know, wheels come off. That's a George Soros trade. You just keep buying every hundred pips down because you got a big deep pocket. And let them stop. Yeah, you're definitely going to bounce off of uh, something down here, right? So is this a good trade? You buy here, you get out here. You buy here, you get out here. All this stuff down in here, God knows what's going to happen here. Um, man, what's the... Oof. God, this is going to be insanity. And you could even make the suggestion that if you project it off of here for a shallow channel, that, yeah, this guy comes back to here, ricochets to there, and they just do a cluster, and it just uh, finally melts down. But during that, during this meltdown, it's going to be insanely choppy. And range traders dream, but on a different 
a different level. So if you fix the scale here, now you can drill down to the one hour. Look at this puppy on the one hour. Are you kidding me? This is cleaned down 200 pips out of fracturing this, this triangle. You also could have had all your orders stacked up at the apex of this. Like seriously, you can't see this coming. Okay, we never made this thing. But this is why you have the pitchfork, because you got this guy. This is your this is your envelope. Never even uh never gets up there. So you can make all sorts of speculations to where this thing's going to stop. Certainly it stopped here for a moment, but the next support could be um way down here. So if you go to the uh 15 minute look at this top bottom on the 15 damn so here's where you're dropping these 20 20 to 10 pip breakout orders all day you're making money on that crap market gets choppy drop the chop breakout whichever way the wind blows whichever way the wind blows it just wouldn't matter it's about Getting in in this this quiet thing and just let it in. Hopefully you've got your targets terraced out. Every 10 pips you're getting out, then you reload. You got limits in front. You're getting killed. But you're going to reload here. So you are going to get killed if you keep running. If you reserve all your limits to real pivots, hand laid, you won't have that problem. So trend trading is about placing a buy stop and going with the flow. So people say, oh, you're going to lose on that trade. Because, yeah, because if it kicks back, you are going to do that. Lou, you're going to lose. If you, if you stop trade from a volatility breakout standpoint and go with the flow, you want to get fancy. Then you're looking way back here saying stuff like, well, but look back here. You're like, well, there's nowhere to look on this thing right now. It's just about sheer pips. And if we're trapped down here, here's the uh, 100 pip window of, uh, look at how many pips that is. Are you kidding me? So that could be over for the pound. Selling, selling England by the pound. Remember that album?